Hey guys, it's Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Iron Man Issue 2. And before I start this review, just want to tell you guys some updates. I have an Amazing Spider-Man Issue review for Issue 698. Um, you guys might have missed it on Wednesday. It just wasn't during my Friday uploads. So just want to tell you guys I do have it so um, just look under my uploads and you'll find it. Um, that was one update and the second update is that I have four comic reviews that I usually do on Comic Uno that I did on Dark Avenger Inc. which are Ultimate Comics X-Men, Supergirl, Green Lantern New Guardians, and um, Nightwing. So go check those out in the description below. There will be a link for Dark Avenger Inc. that way you can go check out those reviews. But let's talk about Iron Man issue one. Um, did not like this cover. I was like, what's going The art really wasn't that great. That's Tony over there. Not that great. So I was not excited to read this. This is actually one of the last issues on my pull list because it just did not look interesting. So, and I did not like the colors, the green and the red. It just did not match. So I did not like the cover. But let's see if I like the story. Maybe it was just a bad cover. I was like, let's be optimistic about it. Um, so in this issue, we get to see um, Iron Man is trying to find the extremist people. He finds them. He kind of teams up with them. Uh, yeah, and tries to team up with them to find people that are suitable to wear it. Um, and then we have this girl who, I think her name's like, um, I don't even know if they say her name. Uh, let's see, Merlin her name is. Um, so she used to be uh, a prodigy also for science and she used to hate Tony because Tony was a prodigy and belittled her, you know, so uh, she's upset, she's trying to make these suits that uh, are better than Iron Man's and Iron Man's trying to fight these suits to see which ones are better and yeah, that's it don't know what it has to do with Extremis, but it has something to do with it as you could tell as I'm reading and telling you this story I don't get it, I don't I mean like I really struggled reading this it was really bad bad like I I was actually reading it I was like what's going on here uh, first of all I just it's so confusing and I just did not understand it I mean a Marvel Now title especially if you know stuff about Iron Man and you read Iron Man stuff you shouldn't be confused about it it's supposed to be for beginners and like I know stuff about extremists okay like why is Iron Man going to these people to get the extremist project I thought he, yeah he was gonna get the extremist project but not team up with these people and try to fight these random Iron Man suits and then the only thing that kept me interested was the Merlin thing. It was like, oh, she could be a cool villain, you know. Oh, a person who wants revenge from Iron Man. But it was just way too confusing. It was like, are you trying to get revenge on him? But why are you teaming up with him? And what does this have to do with Extremis? And what's going on here? I was just like, this is... I've never really been this confused on a Marvel title. I just was like, the story was all over the place. I just did not... I mean, was it me that just didn't understand it? I just hated this issue. I I like literally after the first three pages, I'm like, all right, and 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 like I just like maybe it'll get clearer as I read the issue. Maybe it just didn't. I just did not understand it, and this actually makes me want to drop the series. And um, one thing I believe with the, these Marvel Now titles, it should be better than what the titles were. And Invincible Iron Man was so much better than this. I mean, I did stop reading it because it got too much into government, but it was a good series. And Matt Fraction did a really good job with Iron Man. But with this, it's just really stupid. The story arcs are going nowhere. These facial expressions with... I mean, I could live with the art. It really isn't that bad, but these facial expressions... Um, I don't think this is actually a good um, depiction of it. Like, when you see their, their faces, it does not look good. I'm going to try to get a picture of it, but... Um, I'm just telling you guys, once you read this, you're just going to be confused as hell. There's Tony putting his sunglasses down with his stupid facial expression. Oh, this guy, this is probably the worst one with his eyes closed. Like, who draws that? Um, so yeah, I just did not like it. It just really sucked. Um, I just did not understand it. I just felt like really confused and I did not know what I was reading and it was just... It doesn't make me excited for the next issue. I might actually drop it. It's just like, maybe I'll give it another chance, but I don't see this going anywhere. I mean, I was really excited to pick up Iron Man for Marvel Now. It was supposed to be a really good series, and again, it should have been better than Invincible Iron Man. But there's more government than there ever was, and more business deals than there ever was than Invincible Iron Man. That's what got me sick about Invincible Iron Man, that there was too much business deals and less superhero 
deals, I guess, and less superhero adventures. It was just too much about business. And this was totally about business, except it was so confusing. You didn't even understand what was going on. Like, is she is Tony teaming up with someone? Like, what does this have to do with Extremis? Does he have Extremis? What does this Merlin person have to do with anything? Really confusing. And art did not help it. I give this a one. It sucked. Bad. Avoid it. Um, I, I really have to make a decision if I want to pick up the third one because this just really was bad. Like, this was worse than Captain Marvel. I, I mean, you guys know I, I've been complaining about that series, but this is worse than Captain Marvel's time travel issue. Worse. Way worse. If I could give it lower than one, I probably would. I mean, I, the art wasn't as bad. I think if the art was so crappy that I would give it half a star. But I give it a one. Don't pick it up. Guys, this is Scott McGoon. I hope you guys enjoyed and avoid this issue. Um, guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Scott McGoon on the rant situations. Hope you guys enjoyed and don't pick this issue up. I give it a one star. Don't pick it up. Bad. Don't pick it up. This is Scott McGoon. Bye, guys.